Thursday is upon us once more, creeping up from the shadows like some sort of sneaky little git, much like the Raven Guard. And this time round, it is the Raven Guard who are getting their own Legion specific upgrades. Now I have a bit of a confession for this one because I looked at this initial picture and I thought to myself, have they forgotten to do heads for the Raven Guard? Is it just is it just the shoulders? But then they're focusing on the head, so clearly it must be different. But I don't know how it's different. I did not pick up on the difference between this and the standard Mark VI head uh, at all. I had to go here to the <laughs> to the store and actually look at the Mark VI armor just to notice what the difference was. Now, partially that is maybe because I'm unobservant to a, an extreme degree, but also. I just never picked up on the fact that the lens is slightly like the kind of the the sensor on the top of the helmet is off center. Like I know it's off center, but I've never paid that much attention to it that I noticed that it had been moved to the center for the Raven Guard one. Same thing with like the uh, the kind of sensors where the ears are. I guess it's more rounded out on the Raven Guard one than it is on the standard helmets. But when it comes to just the vents on the side, the lenses. I really didn't notice the difference to begin with. It is definitely not the most extreme change they've made to these helmets when it comes to the Legion specific upgrade packs. I would suggest that perhaps this is even less significant than the uh, than the Ultramarines ones, which were really just exactly the same, pretty much. That being said, just because I didn't notice the difference doesn't mean that other people won't. And this actually has a nice little there's a nice little bit in this article talking about why they've done what they've done for these, which has made me appreciate it that little bit more even if it's not something that's necessarily aimed at me, so to speak. So as Andy from the Horus Heresy team says, a lot of people thought that the Raven Guard weren't getting any new heads because Mark VI is already the Legion-appropriate Mark, which, absolutely true. It, like, Raven Guard are especially known for the Mark VI armour that they wore. Raven Guard are pretty synonymous with Beakies, so it would kind of make sense. But then again, I had seen people say, like, well, are Raven Guard going to get anything? And my assumption was always yes, purely because you don't want to leave a Legion out of Legion-specific upgrade packs. And again, it is kind of their armour in a way, so I can see why there was confusion for some. Because I wasn't really sure what you could do in terms of an upgrade pack for the Beaky Legion, you know? But as Andy says, I wanted them to be more than just plain Mark VI, so in the brief I asked the designers to draw inspiration from the classic Imperial Space Marine head, both the original helmet from the first ever Metal Marine, and the limited edition plastic 30th anniversary version we did a few years ago. That's a very difficult sentence to say, and that was the fourth take for that, so you're never going to hear the others, but I'm just letting you know, nailed it. And this is where me being very unobservant comes in when it comes to some details, because I'll be honest, I at no point noticed that there was a sensor on top of the Imperial Marine's head. I never picked up on that detail. I don't think I've ever noticed that. They had to literally point out in the article the similarities for me to realise that that was there, and I have no idea how I missed it on the new one. I'll be honest, on the old one, I, I don't think... Yeah, I, I just... Let's be honest, the detail is not as crisp on the old one, but then again, it wouldn't be, because it is absolutely ancient. I mean, if the demographic reporting on YouTube is accurate, then about 30% of those of you watching this weren't born when that first Metal Marine came out. So, he's definitely getting on a bit, right? Now, he goes on to say that makes the Raven Guard heads the prototype, consistent with stories about them trialling this armour pattern and it being named Corvus in their honour. And here's the thing, I didn't notice the difference initially. That central sensor I just didn't pick up on. Admittedly, the ones that have got the Raven Guard symbol on the forehead, I mean, you can't ignore that, you can't really mistake that for anything else. And admittedly, I think the interesting visor shape on the other set of heads is kind of cool and does make them a bit different, but that central, like those three central heads, I didn't pick up on the differences. The thing is, now that I know what the differences are and why they chose them, even though this detail is not for me necessarily, I like that they've done it. Like, something that's just a small nod, and being able to tie it into the universe as a whole, whether it's a case of it being a kind of... a little bit of a retcon in a way in terms of describing in detail, or at least visually, what those initial prototype helmets look like, I like that they've done that to actually make this upgrade set something that does make a difference. 
because they've done that, it hasn't made a difference just in terms of the kind of aesthetic of it, because of course you want them to have something a bit different from standard Mark VI, even though that's what they're famous for. You want every Legion to have an upgrade set. You want all of them to be customizable and to, to have like personalization options. Having one of them just not get that because they're the Beaky Legion is a bit crap. So them actually trying to do something interesting with it, and then making it a bit of a tie-in to a previous model, whilst also justifying it in terms of the story as a whole. I don't know. I really like that approach. It feels like a, it feels like a good narrative approach to it. Now, of course, you could argue that there's probably an element of, well, we need to give them something because we can't just leave one legion out of it, so we've got to give them something. So put something together, and then we'll come up with a justification afterwards. To be honest, I would imagine there's a lot, if not, well, I say if not all models, that's not fair, but when it comes to introducing new things, when it comes to creating primary versions of stuff, the impetus will be to do the model first and then to come up with the story afterwards, and that's just kind of generally how that goes. This won't be all that different, I don't think, but I do like the little kind of narrative element that they've introduced with that. It's nice. As someone who's not that detail-oriented when it comes to a bunch of space marines, or at least when it comes to, like, deep dives into stuff like that, this isn't something that I would necessarily have picked up on unless it was spelled out for me. But I know full well that there'll be those of you who will have seen that and immediately gone, that looks like the Imperial Marine. That, like, that's, that's clearly a nod to that. And you'll have seen it immediately, and that kind of detail is for you. And even if I don't always grab those, I'm always happy that they exist, because someone, somewhere has that light bulb moment and goes, nice, I like it. And that doesn't have to happen to me every time for me to appreciate it, you know? The shoulders look nice and crisp, the Legion icon is, uh, is, is nicely detailed on there, I like it. I'm quite excited to see what we get next week. I mean, they've said check back next week for a nasty surprise. We've had all the upgrades, we've had all of those done, so now we're, now we're into, into weird land. And a nasty surprise? Something demonic, maybe? That would be kind of cool. That would be fun. A new plastic kit for, like, Mechanicum or something? I don't know, but I want to know. So, well, I mean, I'll obviously come back and check next week, like they said. They've reeled me in. They've hooked me. Anyway, that's the Raven Guard upgrades. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon videos, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. So in the brief, I asked the designers to draw inspiration from the classic Imperial Space Marine head, both the original helmet from the first ever Metal Marine and the limited edition plastic 30th anniversary version, and the limited edition plastic 30th anniversary version, and the limited edition plastic 30th version. Oh, ah.